my name is Ben Murray, and I am the director and producer of the high school musical Guys and Dolls. Guys and Dolls is a show set in the 1940s, and it is about um, a series of characters, a group of gamblers, um, a showgirl, and a mission band, and the leader of the mission band, Sarah Brown, and the unlikely relationships that form between all of these characters. I am Emily Hereda. I played Sarah Brown, and Sarah Brown is a missionary. She's a sergeant, and she has this like tough exterior that she likes to put on, but throughout the show you learn that she's actually like human as well, and she starts to have a lot of fun when she meets new people. I'm Ghost Snyder, and I played Sky Masterson, who is a very suave gambler who finds love in the most unlikely place. My favorite scene in the show would be Havana. I love the music and I always like sing it in the hallway. Not really, but also. <laughs> and the dancing in it is just really cool and I always loved watching them do it. And then like when we come in to like join, it was always just a really good time. And like the rehearsals to learn it were so much fun. Yeah. My favorite song, I, I, I'm, I'm definitely biased, but it was the most fun to sing. So I'm gonna say Luck Be A Lady. I would say because like I get to look at the guys and I get to play with the audience and it's very fun and it was also just really exciting being able to hear people's reactions to that song starting and them being like, I know this one, I didn't know this was from that and it was very, very cool. I, I could feel the amount of energy when singing that song and it gave me a lot of confidence and I would say the most confidence I've had in the entire show is during that song. It was just such a great experience. The classic musicals like Guys and Dolls, the ballads are amazing. So the love songs between two of the lead characters are incredible. But I also love The Oldest Established when you have the entire crapshooters group singing a song. Luck Be a Lady is just a classic. Sit Down You're Rockin' the Boat is just a classic. And I grew up singing that with my brother. Uh, and nerding about uh, the piano and singing that song. And the song Guys and Dolls is just a great song. So I, I don't think I could answer and say that I have one favorite one, because I think they're all awesome. My favorite song from the show is probably If I Were a Bell. It, it takes place right after the Havana dance when Sarah is explaining to Sky how she feels. Emily Hareda's performance of the song is absolutely stunning, and her acting and dancing really brings it together. It's very nice to listen to. Uh, hi, I'm Ryder Smith. Uh, I played Nicely Nicely Johnson in the show. And uh, Nicely, he's one of the gangsters, but he's, he's not so serious uh, like the rest of them. He's a bit more bouncy, a little dopier. He walks around with a very exaggerated sort of vibe. I play Adelaide. She has been engaged to Nathan Detroit for 14 years. She's a showgirl. She leads the hot box. I think my favorite scene is probably it's when Sky Masterson and Nicely Nicely are sitting in the hot box at the very beginning of Act 2 and they just have a nice silly little conversation about Nathan Detroit and Adelaide and their relationship it's because I got the most laughs in that scene. Uh, I had a lot of funny lines in it. And I got to be with my great friend Ghost. So we just had this nice little, you know, rapport that we just boom, boom, bounced back and forth. It was great. My name is Joseph Krasinski and I played Arvide Abernathy and the Crap Shooter. So Arvide is Sarah's grandfather and he's a part of the Mission Band. So he walks around on stage carrying like a big bass drum and throughout the show he's trying to like help Sarah to like find her love and like do stuff outside of the mission with her life. I'm Lilia Damo, I'm the senior stage manager and I run lights to the show which means I do all the cues and I also call the show which means I tell everyone on stage what should be happening and when. One of the things the audience might not know seeing the show for the first time is how much work went into every single part of it like the dancing, the amount of hours they had to learn it and clean it up. The amount of props in the show and how much our coordinator, Lily Cannon, has to do into getting cast to make sure they have them and they put them back and that everything's in the right place. Well, something that they might not know is that I got the bass drum three, like, three days before like opening night. So it was rough and like you could probably tell while I was like walking across the thrust that I was like kind of like looking over to make sure that I don't like fall into the pit or anything. 
So, like, getting the bass drum like a couple days before the show was a little bit, <laughs> it was a little nerve-wracking. Well, an audience member might not know that we pulled the show together a lot, you know, a much shorter time frame than uh, most shows. Uh, usually, we start in December and we go into the second week of March. Uh, this time, because of a snowstorm, we had to cut all three of our December rehearsals, and we did it. We started two days into March, so we only had eight weeks to pull the entire show together from scratch. And it turned out a lot better than you know. There, there was a lot of crunch time, but it it turned it out a lot better than I expected in that time. They don't know how loud it is back there. <laughs> the silly little guffaws that we get up to and the camaraderie and the support that we give each other. It's very, very fun and it's very heartfelt and I just love it back there. I love it more so back there than I do on the stage. An audience member might not know how tight-knit of a community we create and how we're getting up and we're acting like maybe we hate each other or we're acting like we're so in love with each other but really like we're all the best of friends and just like having that persona kind of underneath the acting is just like a really interesting um, thing to work with and people might not know that when they watch the show. One of the most challenging things with this particular show is all of the dancing and it's been several years since we've done a show that has had this much dancing in it and that is a unique challenge but also a fun challenge. I think the hardest part about being in the musical this year was that some of the harmonies on uh, a couple of the crapshooter songs especially had to be really tight uh, and it had to be a, like about 30 people all getting that those same notes perfectly down because they weren't notes that would typically go together in the most chords so when put together it sounded really nice but it was really hard to get together and I think we were still messing it up the last rehearsal before the show. So we had to keep workshopping it throughout that. The hardest part about being in the musical for sure was figuring out my character and the stress that came along with that because I totally was worried about not at all being anyone but myself on stage and I really didn't want that. I wanted to be anyone but myself and I wanted to fit the role of the character rather than just coming on and saying, hey, I'm Sky Masterson. And I was also worried about pitches during songs. That was the second biggest thing. And the director had to pull me aside and sing with me a lot so I could get those right. So that was definitely rigorous. I'd say the hardest part was just getting everything done. It seems like at the end we were at practice every single night until 8 p.m. and I loved it so much and then I found myself kind of putting other things off and just balancing my outer life with musical was very difficult but it was all very worth it. <laughs>